What is up y'all? Today we are out in the forest shooting some mountain biking. Um, we're gonna do a little bit behind the scenes and uh, we've got Gabe Swift behind the camera and we've got another crew out here um, doing some filming for another project and so we're kind of collaborating and uh, working together to capture a bunch of awesome angles of Mark riding his bike. So the video concept is basically Mark starting at the top of a mountain and the trail gradually getting more and more intense. And so we started in some fairly open terrain and then we worked down into a little bit more technical stuff and some drops and things like that and into some more actual forest area. And now today we're sort of in deep forest and uh, bigger jumps, gnarlier and gnarlier stuff basically. We're trying to get a transition shot that takes us from the forest we were in yesterday to this jump park that we are in today. Um, so this opening shot is just a wide establisher. I'm going to try to track Mark through the shot as much as I can um, as he hits this first smaller jump that will lead into uh, the rest of the shots for today. So this shot is just kind of just an extension of the last shot. I'm going to be pushing through the foliage over here to reveal Mark hitting this, this jump. Don't seeing like a stab from behind, it just shows me boosting way in the air. Yeah, I think that would and be And that good. could cut into like you way up the tree. up in the ladder. And yeah. then we'll session that for a bit, get that jump really good. Yeah. And I got like shot some hype on there, then we'll, yeah, let's we'll keep working our way down the line. Okay. Yeah, we'll sounds good. Cool. Every time we, we do a shot, Mark's got to ride it, right? <laughs> like it's different than just like asking somebody to do a, another take of uh, some random thing that doesn't involve them flying through the air <laughs> and a lot of work. <laughs> so I think that's one of the biggest challenges is like everybody having to simultaneously nail it. And then the weather has been a little bit of a pain on this trip. We've been trying to get like overcast weather the whole time, like but we've had some sunny now. spots. What's that? I feel like that rain stopped. Yeah, I think, I mean, it's pretty perfect right now. Yeah, it just needs to dry up a bit for the ride. Yeah. Get that big berm at the bottom is going to be slippery. Yeah. So for this shot, we're basically just gonna do a push in. We've got some foreground elements of this maple tree. Um, as Mark hits the jump, I'll be pushing through and we're just gonna lock off the gimbal so that none of the motion is going in any direction. It's just a real, real steady, almost like a dolly push in kind of move. Um, a little bit of an upward angle, like trying to get two axes of movement. So it's a little bit more interesting. We're doing some filming that's going to be a little bit more like frantic frenetic but for the most part it's pretty like i don't know these forests are so beautiful it's kind of like dream shots i guess a little bit so setting up a long lens shot we're kind of going between these two trees and we're revealing both the jump that he's hitting now and the next one i'm just trying to get like a bunch of compression in this shot <laughs> jump <laughs> prep yeah <laughs> That's dope between the trees. Yeah, that's a good shot. The idea of this video is to ride a bike that has way less travel, right. like way less suspension than you would normally have riding jumps this big. But it, it's pretty challenging too because the landings are more harsh. So I'm actually blowing through all my travel every time I land and you can easily break a shock when you do that. To fix that, I'm just putting some more air inside of it and that'll stiffen things up hopefully enough to avoid that from happening. He's gonna boost this up really high. I'm um, gonna do this one at slow-mo. We're gonna do 120 frames for this. So this shot, we're basically gonna track Mark coming down. The whole thing that we've just shot close-ups of, we'll be getting um, a full run through that line. We're gonna go at 24 frames a second, so it's pretty quick, and then we'll be intersplicing um, slow motion clips within that. Um, but yeah, this is a dope angle that, that Cole noticed. To give you credit in there, best shot in the video, credit yeah, Cole. Yeah, best shot. <laughs> no, I don't have Watch it just suck. You're just gonna I have some. take the shot, just kick your camera down the ground. Yeah. Camera. All right, we're rolling. That was pretty dialed and looked pretty sweet. Um, it's always like the challenge with mountain biking is like it's the camera operator has to get be dialed <clears throat> and the rider needs to be dialed. So, Mark, were you not happy with the way you flew through the air there? Uh, were you showing this jump well? Yeah. Oh 
already added. I didn't boost it as much. Let's do it one more then. Okay, yeah. I think it's pretty sweet angle. I don't know if I would cut it from all the way at the very top, but I would at least you go from the step this. up or yeah. step down to this. Looks really good. Be a cool shot of like taking off and kind of. Yeah. So I think if you can okay. nail it in a way you're more happy with. Okay. I went higher there for sure. Yeah. But if we cut it right at that point. I mean, if you cut it right at the peak, I'm like. Yeah, if we cut it like right there. There. To the other angle, the slow yeah. motion angle. Yeah, that'd be really cool. I think that would work. Or the one we get in the tree. I'm gonna try and get a wide shot just to show how high he really goes. So I wanna show the landing and the takeoff and just show, because he's getting about 30 feet up in the air. That actually, that shot will be a good reference for where the ladder should be. Yeah, it will. This next shot that I'm trying to set up would allow me to be on top of the ladder and capture Mark at the apex of his jump. Unfortunately, I was just not able to get the tracking down with how tight of a shot I was trying to get. And all the, the shots that you'll see here, none of them actually worked. Fortunately, Danny was able to get a shot that was pretty sweet and it ended up in the final video and came close to what I was hoping to capture. That is all for this behind the scenes. If you haven't seen the full video yet, you can hop over to Marin's channel. I'll put a link in the description below to the video, as well as all the other people that were involved with this project. I'm really excited with how this video came out and I hope you enjoy giving it a watch.